My name is Alexandra Diaber-Hines. This is my final project for Mentoring in Medicine Virtual Summer Camp, and I've done it on coronary heart disease. Coronary heart disease is the leading cause of death in America. There is a blockage, so blood and oxygen can't reach the heart. This disease can cause a heart attack, which is a heart malfunction, or a cardiac arrest, which is when the heart stops completely. Some symptoms of coronary heart disease are, are angina, which is chest discomfort because of poor blood flow in the coronary artery, left arm pain, jaw or neck pain, shortness of breath, nausea, or weakness. Some causes are diabetes, high cholesterol, and obesity. Also, plaque buildup that narrows the coronary artery. And Arthrosclerosis, which is the hardening of coronary arteries. Thrombosis is a blood clot in a vessel. These blockages stop blood flow to the heart, which cause damage to the heart muscle that leads to coronary heart disease. Doctors have four ways to diagnose a patient with CHD. They check the normal vital signs like blood pressure and heart rate draw blood to send to the lab for any irregularities, and a nuclear stress test. The main test is an electrocardiogram, EKG, that measures the electric activity of the heart. Three treatments for coronary heart disease. Medication for the minor, but for major blockages, there is balloon angioplasty, where a stent is inserted into the vessel to keep it open and coronary bypass surgery where cardiac surgeons create new pathways for blood. To prevent CHD, you should eat a healthy diet of fruits and vegetables. Don't smoke or use drugs or drink alcohol. Try to limit stress in your life and know your family history. If there is heart disease in your family or diabetes, take necessary precautions to limit your chance of getting coronary heart disease. These are my sources. I got most of the information from the Mentoring in Medicine virtual summer camp. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed my presentation.